Hello, everybody. Hi. I hope everybody's having a nice Friday. And um, I'm coming today. And I'm coming after calming down after something happened. But um, I wanted to do this yesterday. And today something happened. And then I thought, you know what? Today is a good time to do this and to express some of my feelings that I have and have had and probably expressed in other places. If, if you follow me on Twitter, if, if you've seen me, you know, but I've expressed it in other places, maybe even in other blogs, about how I feel about passive aggressive people. And really, as of today, I'm just sort of sick of y'all. I'm just sick. I'm just weary. And it's coming to the point where, you know, today I'm just feeling like, you know, I, I just, I hate, I hate y'all. I hate passive aggressive people. And that's really a strong word to use. That's usually not a word that I use very often. But I really do hate passive aggressive people. And you know who you are. Although you will deny it and act like you're not, you know who you are. You are the slimy, think you're slick, behind the back folks with no backbone, no courage to say what you think or what you want or what is bothering you. So you do it in this behind the back sort of way or this underhanded way. You underhandedly um, insult people. You're condescending. You try to use um, jokes as a way to emotionally abuse people. You're never direct. You triangulate situations where you're mad with someone else but you tell another person about it, instead of telling the person that you're upset with, you bring in some other person as if they're supposed to say something about your feelings so you can get somebody on your side. You are manipulative and underhanded and just evil. You pretend like you're nice, but you're really not nice. You're not kind. You're not anything. You're just passive aggressive. You're mad at the world because you don't have the balls to stand up for yourself. So you do it in other ways, other more sneaky ways, or at least ways you think are sneaky. And for most people who deal with passive aggressive people or who have ever dealt with passive aggressive people, it is the most frustrating, bothersome things you've probably ever done. You can tell them to be direct, but they won't be direct. It don't matter about you telling them to be direct. That don't mean nothing. They don't know how to be direct. They don't know how to express what they want. So they do it in these other ways. They're usually emotionally or verbally abusive. And it's just become all out too much for me. I can't take it. I just cannot stand it. And it can be really hard because where I live, most of these people are passive aggressive, particularly the white people. They're just, it's like a passive aggressive epidemic around here. But what's becoming bad is a lot of black people are becoming passive aggressive. And the one thing that I could say I always liked about black people is we were usually direct about what it is that we said or wanted or something. We was usually direct about it. But now we're becoming passive aggressive. And in all this thing and trying to be quote unquote nice, when you're really not nice, people have become passive aggressive. And it is all people like myself who are direct and assertive can do not to just jump y'all and kill y'all. You know, it's just all I can do not to just punch somebody in the eye, you know, and stuff. I mean, it's going between being just sort of wanting to laugh and just being totally exasperated, you know, by somebody who just will not 
be direct. You know, they think they're going to make somebody mad or people are going to be upset. But you know what the thing is? Here I'm telling you now, it doesn't matter. People are going to be mad whether or not you say what you want or don't. It would just be easier to say what you want. At least you know why they was mad. But this sort of behind the back thing, trying to make sure nobody's mad at you when really everybody's mad. People going to be what they're going to be. And stuff. It is just driving me crazy. And I wish y'all would stop. The situation happened today. That happened a few days ago. I told you I left my position. I resigned that job. And I let her know that I was resigning the job. I have health concerns, which I do. I have health concerns. Something's come up with my health that I had and that I've had issues with over the last couple of years, just being a type one diabetic and stuff. And it's come up again and it just makes it sort of impossible for me to work. The lucky thing is, you know, or at least to work the amount of hours that she was having me work, you know, or that place was having me work. I don't know if I'll be able to go back to work one or two days a week, but I cannot work five days a week. That's just not going to happen and stuff. And I need to take care of my health. And I did express that to her until I had health concerns. And I don't care what nobody thinks all, you know, you can think whatever you want to think. But for me as a type one diabetic, my health is first and foremost with me. It, it, personally, you could go to the devil. Okay, my health is always first and foremost with me. Okay, after having diabetes almost 35 years, all I can think about is how to make sure that I slow the progression of the downward spiral of having type 1 diabetes. So I say that. I don't hear anything back. I say the next day that I'm coming in to pick my things up on today. It's 1 p.m. Okay, I don't hear nothing back. That's when I knew. What I'd been suspicious of this whole time was that this person was passive aggressive was true because that's what passive aggressive do. They ignore you or they don't answer or something like that because they call themselves being pissed. I care less about her being pissed. I'm worried about my own health and my own self. You know, and the least you could do is not be childish about it and just say, hey, one o'clock is fine. No problem. You know, and stuff. You can be mad. It, you know, okay, I'm okay with that. I figured she was upset, you know, but you don't have to be childish and unprofessional about it. So personally, after that, I kept thinking, well, you know, you kind of see minute in my mind why it was a good idea for me to leave that anyway, because I kept getting the feeling that something was wrong and this woman was past progressive, and then she just confirmed it for me, and I was like, oh, thank, thank you. You've done me a favor. So I go in today. To just get my stuff and get the last paycheck I got. I come in, pick my stuff up. She hands me the check and she's looking all crazy. Then she goes to some big speech about how she hope I didn't do this to somebody else and all this stuff. And I'm just trying to, you know, looking, you know, and stuff. I think I was probably rolling my eyes because, you know, my face will do stuff and I wouldn't even know. But I figured after three weeks, you know, I didn't particularly like you anyway. It ain't enough for me to be in some sort of back and forth with you trying to defend myself. I told you why I was leaving. You know, why go into the speech about how you were so hurt or whatever. Like, like I care. But, of course, we're passive aggressive people. That's how it is. Because, of course, everything in the world is about them. It can't be about you. You can't have... In your own issues, you can't have something else. It's got to be about them. And, of course, this is a white woman, so it's just passive aggressive all over the place. Okay? And that's a whole nother story is all the issues I've had ever working for women, you know, attorneys. It's just, that's a whole nother blog right there. Okay? You know, I've, I've had issues with men, but never, not, there's not one time I haven't had an issue with women and particularly with their with their past regressive nature, you know, and stuff and 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 you know, 
somehow thinking, I don't know, because I'm a black woman, maybe I should have been happy that she gave me that little job or, you know, something I was destitute or, or something. And, you know, she did me a favor or some. She didn't do me no favor, you know. It wasn't that big of a deal. I had a job. You know, because I wanted something to do. But then I figured out, hey, I don't want to do that no more. So it wasn't that big of a favor. So she goes on and says something else. And after a while, it's sort of like listening to Charlie Brown's teacher. Womp, 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 you know, and stuff. Because I'm not really listening. Because I don't really care. You know, I just want my check. And I want to be out of there. Okay, you know. Personally, if I wouldn't have left some stuff there, I wouldn't have ever gone back. I would have just told her to mail me the check. And stuff. So, she hands me over the check and says how this is putting her in a bad spot. Listen, it's not my business. I don't care. It's not my business. I don't care. You know. And stuff. And... We weren't close, and we weren't friends, which, you know, here's another thing, you know, I, just because I'm friendly with you does not mean we're friends, okay? And I don't know, maybe past aggressive people think that some, just because I'm friendly with you does not mean we're friends. I don't even mean that I like you, you know, and stuff, you know, it was a job. I just try to be respectful to people. That's it. And so... Then she says something about, you know, she goes on about something else. And then she says something about she was just so disappointed in me. And I was like, then I was just like, you know, huh? I was just, I mean, I was like, what? She was so disappointed. And of course, I'm telling you, that's, that's how past aggressive people do. And then I was like, okay, you know, I was really like, okay whatever. And I just took the check and just said bye. And I was just, I took the check and I was like, she hadn't checked to me and I took the check and just said bye and I walked out. Um, I probably could have said something, should have said something, but you know, after three weeks, it's not, it's not all that crucial, you know, and stuff. I was just sort of like disappointed in who and what. I'm not your child. You can't be disappointed in me. I'm not your kid. Okay. But it's just sort of this thing, you know, and I know, you know, white people do it to black people, want to infantilize us and make us into like we're their little children and stuff. And they were just expecting so much from us. Really? Yeah, whatever, bro. Um, and I was out and then, you know, I take the check. And I'm taking the check to the bank. And then she wrote something on the check. She, You know how you write in the little notes section. Then she wrote some stuff in the little notes section about how I hadn't given notice and stuff. And I'm thinking, what? Why would you write that on a check? And, you know, and I'm just thinking, okay, why would you write? But it's another way past progressive people do stuff. You know, I was taking that check to the bank to cash it. I wasn't going to see that check ever again. Why would you write some passive aggressive note on a check, you know, and stuff? But of course, it's not surprising. It was just, it was like, it was the last, and I was just like, thank you, Lord, that I quit that job. Because she was exactly what I thought she was. And as usual, with all passive aggressive people, and I'm telling you, all passive aggressive people out there, I get you. I get your little snide remarks and your little slide, snide underhanded insults. You're not slick. I know. I see past progressive people coming 10 miles away. It was about a week, maybe maybe a week or two weeks ago, I figured out she was maybe past progressive, but I wasn't really sure. And so as time went on, as usual, you all do the same things. You all have a same pattern. And so then I figured, yeah, I was right. She was. I'm so weary of y'all. I'm so sick of y'all and y'all drama. You know, the note on the check was like the just most craziest, just childish. And her telling me, and I'm thinking to myself being, you know, being surprised and all this stuff. But I'm thinking to myself, my last position I stayed at for three years. What you really need to be thinking about is why I left your position after three weeks. But of course... Passive aggressive people are never that insightful. They're never that introspective because, well, with them, it's everybody else and they really haven't done anything because they've been nice to everybody, although they don't want to be nice 
and although they don't and although they can't stand up for themselves and although they don't know how to be direct but they think all that niceness is going to gain favor with them usually for people such as myself it just annoys me and i find it manipulative and underhanded and i don't want anything to do with people like that i had some something happen yesterday with someone who left a comment on my on my page and then there was some kind of insult and then they were saying how sorry they were they came here and they came to my page and they didn't really mean to offend me and they were really sorry and it's like how would you give me an underhanded insult in one sentence and then come on here and apologize so of course I called them out and told them please never come to my page again and I'm telling you if you're passive aggressive and you're here please leave do not make a comment on my YouTube channel or on my blog please be gone don't ever come back because as soon as I figure out you're passive aggressive I am going to call you out and ban you forever I'm not gonna take it I'm sick of y'all I'm just sick 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 y'all make me sick I'm so done it's everywhere there's nowhere you can go to escape it y'all on jobs y'all in families y'all in marriages y'all at the grocery store you're at the doctor's office your co-workers your bosses you all are making this earth a living hell at times you are the scourge of the earth and I'm just really sick of you all I had somebody send me a passive aggressive from the doctor note from a doctor's office once and I called them back and I told them, don't you ever send me a note like that again. Some passive aggressive letter. I was so, I was just upset. And it's now making me upset. That's why I don't want to deal with you all anymore. Because you can't be direct. You're dishonest at heart. You're dishonest by nature. Everything about you is dishonest and fake. And I just can't deal with dishonest, fake people. You can't be in my life. You can't be around me. I don't want to talk with you. I don't want to deal with you. The passive aggressiveness is not something you're hiding from anyone. We all know you're passive aggressive. You're not hiding that from nobody. We all know that really in your heart, you really hate, you know, you really hate the, the, the point with me is you really hate me. That's okay. I'd rather you say you hate me. It would be easier than this sort of fake smile and fake this and fake ugh, it's ugh, you know I'd rather you just come out and say you hate me it would be so much easier at least I would know where I stood then it would be easier for me to deal with direct people are easier for me to deal with even if they mean it's easier for me to deal with directness than to deal with this trying to guess or trying to, you know, people beating around the bush and, and all sorts of stuff like that. I just, I can't take it. I mean, I just, I left the, I left the thing and I just, I had a headache. My headache's finally gone. And I'm happy that I'm doing this blog because... I, it's it's just been on my mind. It's been happening, and it keeps happening. If you figure out your passive aggressive or you have passive aggressive tendencies, please, 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 go get some help. Go read a book. Go figure out some healthy boundaries for yourself. Cause you are making people crazy. People in your family. Your loved ones, your friends, the folks at work, you're making them crazy. And when people are stepping back and stepping away and leaving you and leaving you on at a drop of a hat, going away, really, it, it's not about them. It's about you. You know, I left because I was not, you know, I was essentially sick. But, you know, her being passive aggressive and me not particularly liking that job did not make it really hard for me to leave. 
you know, it wasn't like I was thinking about it. It wasn't like I was going to figure out how to work through, you know, work through my, my, um, my, you know, whatever my was going on with the complications with my illness it, to be back there. That what it wasn't like I was feeling dedicated. It wasn't like I was feeling loyal. I just wanted out and I got out. And I'm done. I'm done with passive aggressive folks. I'm done. There's a lot of people I've decided to call out. There's certain people that when they do stuff, when emotionally abusive people do stuff, and usually many times passive aggressive people are emotionally abusive people because they don't know how to ask for what they want. Or they don't know how to express that they're unhappy about something. So they do it in, in other ways. So emotionally abusive people, I've been calling out for a long time. Passive aggressive people, I'm calling you all out now. Every time I get some funky letter from the doctor or from somebody, every time somebody says something, you know, on a comment or said, I'm just calling you all out. I'm just calling you all out. I'm tired of y'all. I'm tired of your little underhanded insults. I'm tired of your little insults. And then you go, oh, well, you know, I'm just so, I'm, I'm so sorry. Or, you know, I just, well, really, um, you know, I, I'm not trying to insult you. If, if you say that, I, I know you are. And I'm, I'm calling you out with your passive aggressive self. I'm calling you out. I'm done. And I'm sick of it. And I'm weary and I know a bunch of people, not just me, I know a bunch of y'all out there have dealt with passive aggressive people. Y'all tired of it. Y'all tired of them. Y'all tired of them getting away with it. Y'all tired of them pretending like they nice and everybody going, well, you know, she really nice. No, they're not. They're not. They're not really nice. They're not. They're mean and they're manipulative. They're not nice. And I'm calling y'all out for who y'all are. Trust and believe. If you come at me with your passive aggressiveness, trust and believe you're not that slick. I know. I know it. I can smell it. I can see it. Two words in, I got you. And I'm done. And I'm calling you out. I'm coming. I'm telling you, I'm telling you people who you are. I'm telling who you, you who you are, and I'm cutting you off. And I'm done. There will be no dealing. I don't need no explanation. I don't want no sorries. I don't want you to try to figure out. I don't care. I'm through. I got enough stuff to deal with in life, you know, real stuff, than to deal with somebody who is not mature enough to know how to express how they feel, or ask for what they want. That's not my problem. Get some therapy. There's lots of therapists out there, lots of books for you to read. Good luck with that. And as for the woman with the check day lady, I cash your check most happily. And am now spending the money. And have now moved on with my life. And thank you so much for letting me know which I'd already was, uh, I was already suspicious. But thank you so much for confirming to me once again that I made the right decision. Thank you. I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.